it's not been easy for a month or so and I've got a little bit behind on the challenges and I'm sorry about that. A few weeks ago I found myself flat out exhausted. Uh, I didn't really know why. It could have been uh, maybe too many early mornings, um, maybe some of the remedies that I've been um, reviewing or perhaps it was just that 2020 had finally taken its toll on me like it has done on so many other people. And it's kind of hard um, when you're exhausted to do videos and to, uh, to be creative, which is why I'm a little bit behind on all of the challenge roundup videos. If this video is the first video that you've watched on this channel, then welcome. Uh, we do things a little bit differently here at Total Wellness Club. Yeah, sure. We interview wellness experts each week and we get their best insights, but Everyone else does that. What we do is we boil all of that information down to the one thing that can really make a difference. Something that we could try out, something we can improve or use to change or transform our lives. And we call that our challenge. This video is my roundup from the challenges from the last few weeks. Here I get to share with you uh, what happened to me when I tried out a bunch of new ideas. This video is created for your inspiration, for your um, entertainment, and sometimes, well, sometimes things don't go to plan, do they? And when they don't go to plan, there's um, some self-honesty and there's also some personal growth. And like with most of my um, video roundups, there's something that I failed at this month. This month, the challenges that I've been sent on include improving my immune system, improving my posture, clearing negative energy from my home, working out four times a week for a month. Guess which one I failed on? As you may know by now, I'm not an expert on health and wellness, but I am an explorer of health and wellness, and I'm willing to learn from experts and try out their ideas. In my interview with Chris Pickard, he revealed something that I thought was quite shocking. And most people in the UK have usually at least got one deficiency of some kind, or insufficiency, I should say. But there are also what are called optimal ranges of nutrients um, for optimal health. And these aren't really looked into so much by medicine. So most people fall outside the optimal ranges for optimal health. And so most people aren't, their immune system isn't optimal. It may not be deficient, but it's not optimal. I think when you consider that there's a virus that's been sweeping across our planet over the last year or so, um, and the fact that there are so many of us that are quite likely um, deficient in um, really alarming ways, it kind of probably explains why the infection and the death rates have been as high as they've been. On the surface, the challenge that Dr. Chris Pickard left us with seemed quite simple and straightforward. Um, take a multivitamin and eat more fish. We ordered the multivitamins online and uh, we just added a mixed fish recipe into our weekly uh, menu. I spoke with Peter Johnson, author of I Beat Back Pain, So Can You, because so many people suffer with back pains and back problems that maybe they don't really need to be suffering from. And Peter left me with a challenge to improve my posture. Now, I'll be honest, um, I slouch a bit uh, when I'm at my desk, when I'm working, uh, my shoulders kind of hunch up. So by the end of the day, I often end up with some upper back ache. The problem is when you're at work, you forget. And then before you know it, uh, <laughs> you've been hunched over your keyboard for like 20 minutes. So what we've got is this little device um, called Upright Go. What this does is it gives you a little buzz every time you forget yourself and roll forward into a hunch. I'll add a link below and look out for my review on the Upright Go. The other thing I've done is I've used um, an acupuncture mat to encourage me to straighten out my back. And again, I'll add a link below so that you can check out my review on the acupuncture mat. Okay, so two challenges down and two more to look at. And I still haven't talked to you about the one which I failed in. Alternative life coach and house healer, Tim Walter, spoke about negative energy in our homes. And his challenge was to clear negative energy from the home. And he suggested that we look at things in the house that we do and don't like, and actually move the things that maybe are in the way um, or that we're unhappy with. One of the things that had been getting to me a little bit 
uh, was my office environment. I spend sort of 30 to 35 hours a week in the office and there are some things that uh, I, I wanted to do that would just make my life a little bit easier. I wanted a mic that uh, I could get really easy access to um, for recording videos. I wanted Joe and I to be able to look at the same screen when we were discussing a project and I wanted the lighting to be easy and accessible. Okay, here's where I failed. In my interview with 21 times world champion bodybuilder Sarah Taylor, um, we spoke about peak performance and she left me with a challenge to work out four times a week. Now, usually that isn't a problem for me. Usually I do weights twice a week and usually I do cardio three or four times a week. But as I said at the beginning of this video, I was just flat out exhausted. I don't think that I've ever felt quite like this before. I actually stopped all cardio. In fact, the thought of it actually made me feel sick and I really struggled through even lightweight workouts. And this went on for a few weeks, but the rest did me good. And I can now claim I am again working out four times a week, um, twice with weights, uh, which is going really well now. And I'm just gently reintroducing cardio. So, so there you go. There's my roundup from four videos. Be my guest and try out some of the challenges. You never know, it could be life changing for you. I've added links below in the um, description so that you can see the interviews that each of these challenges originate from um, so that you can watch the entire interview if you want to. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up because it really does help the channel. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of all of our latest uploads, including interviews and reviews and more challenges like this. And I'll see you in the next video.